going on guys? We are at the Mobile Hunters Expo 2024 Northeastern Show. We are here with Mr. AJ with Ape Canyon Outfitters. How are you? Good. It's nice to meet you, Rob. Good. Glad to meet you, your acquaintance, and uh, it's been a good day. How about yourself? It's been a, it's been a long one so far. Oh. We've only got a couple hours left. I can imagine. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've I heard of Ape Canyon a couple years ago, I believe. Can you tell us a little bit about your company and what you guys are about? So, although we're new to saddle hunting as a brand, we're not new to the industry or safety. Our company originally started in 1982 as Rock and Rescue. Um, for years, we've been designing and manufacturing safety equipment for military, first responders, working high professionals around the globe. Within the past 10 years, we've indirectly been involved with the outdoor industry. We've been supplying the ropes, the carabiners, and doing custom manufacturing for a lot of brands you'll see here today. Within the past two years, we added the capability of doing instructor testing. And when we started doing testing on some of our customers' products, we became alarmed. We're noticing things were slipping where they shouldn't, stitching wasn't as strong as what it should have been, and materials are not compatible. When we voiced these concerns to the customers, there wasn't much care about safety. For us and our background, that was a huge red flag. We decided we're gonna cut ties and start doing our own thing. Last thing we want is someone while doing their hobby or sport getting injured. So we formed Ape Canyon to develop safer products for the industry. Um, we take pride in manufacturing all of our stuff in-house in the US. We're in Butler, Pennsylvania, and we take pride and creating local jobs. So while we're talking about safety, this is our Pioneer saddle, which a lot of those in saddle hunting are familiar with. But I don't think everyone knows how much goes into our products and designs. Just on this, we've gone through 30 different webbings, trying to figure out what is most compatible to make the safest product for you. Now, as you can see, we destructive test everything. Every production run we do, we're gonna sacrifice three to five samples to ensure what you're getting is the best product possible. We're never gonna tell you our products are the greatest thing ever. We wanna show you all the pros, cons, and flaws. But what we have here, our bridge will fail at 6,135 pounds. Our bridge loops, 16,620. We can literally pick up a truck with our saddle. Wow. Our Lyman's loops, 8,600. An auxiliary, 7,725. Yes, it seems over-engineered. We care about you and returning home after your hunt. Now that we've showed a little bit about our manufacturing, how we test, and why we do the things the way we do, I'd like to reveal our new saddle that's coming to market. And I'd like to introduce the Land Baron. The Land Baron is gonna be economy, no frills, but it's not sacrificing on safety or comfort. MSRP is gonna be $150, and again, made in the USA. Our products will never see a container. We have our full line of Molly. It's compatible with any Molly accessories, anything that we're currently making for the Pioneer or the Wood Deluxe saddle. It's gonna come in two sizes. You'll notice our chassis is a little bit wider down here. That way it really cups the rear and supports you. We decided for our Lyman's loop, we were going with a construction that's really gonna allow your Lyman's tether to self-orientate where it should, and it's gonna pull evenly along your hips. You're not gonna have any kind of pinch or discomfort. On the front side, we decided to go with a little bit lighter weight bridge. We're using Sterling eight millimeter Oplux on a TRC for the progress capture. But what do you think, Rob? I think it looks amazing. And hearing those numbers, if, if this one compares anything to that, yeah, that's, uh, those numbers are absolutely incredible. It's really light. How much does this weigh? I haven't put it on a scale yet, but I'm going to say it's sub pound and a half. I was going to say at least sub two. It's okay. really nice. So will you offer it in different uh, camo patterns? We will. Initially, we're going to do a range of green. It'll match most camos currently on the market. After that, we'll be working with WTF Camo, which is Pennsylvania based, to offer their unique patterns, as well as Cryptech. I'd like to show our Prospector platform. The Prospector came out earlier this year. $318, sub three pounds come supplied with our aiders, as well as our aider securing device, which is nice and convenient. There are other products out there to help you store your aiders, but they seem to be costly and kind of bulky. So we're happy with how low profile our new option is. It just folds up, put it in place, run your webbing through your tri-glide. and we can cinch it in place. 
but again, Prospector came out earlier this year, and based on the success and customer feedback, we're happy to be launching at the show the new Prospector Ultra. So our Prospector Ultra features the same platform top, as well as a wider bottom step. This makes it a lot easier making the transition to your next step. Um, we're proud to work with Matt Garrison out on the limb. They're fantastic. Matt has the ability to take my rough designs drawn on a pizza box and turn it into a finished product in a matter of weeks. I do want to point out that Out on the Limb has been a huge help in Ape Canyon coming out with their one sticks. But what do you think? I'm a really big fan of Matt's work. Um, I own several of his sticks. Um, I'm also a really big fan of that big uh, bottom step. You know, I think that uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of certain points of your foot when you're trying to climb. And um, obviously the curved front of the platform is a big must. You know, guys like me like to split, you know, 50-50s leaning and sitting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that helps you get the best of both worlds. We're happy Prospector Ultra will be available in the next few weeks. Well, man, I appreciate you getting with us. And you guys have a lot going on right now, some stuff in the works and a little bit of collaboration with some other folks. You wanna tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, actually we're very fortunate to work with innovators within saddle hunting. It's all about moving forward. And I feel that our partnership with John of JRB Tree Climbing has been instrumental in what we do. John has spent countless hours testing and developing safer techniques. Again, we wanna go out, we wanna have fun hunting. We wanna come home safely. Another collaboration and partner of ours, WTF Camo, awesome company family owned they have the same views and values that we do and they want to push forward safer practices and better products without those collaborations ape canyon would not be going the direction that we currently are well i'm definitely looking forward to doing a, a video with those two guys too so uh man i appreciate you I getting appreciate with me Rob, taking the time look forward to showing you some of our other new products in the next few months you're gonna see two panel saddles and another innovative single panel new safer and lighter ropes sweet and so the website's gonna be, is it apecanyonoutfitters.com? Yep. All right, and you're on Facebook and Instagram? Facebook, Instagram, you can follow that. You can follow Mega Pacific, another one of our hardware companies. All right, so apecanyonoutfitters.com. Go check them out and be sure to stick around to see videos coming up with JRB and WTF Camo.